So tomorrow's the first day of junior year. I'm not ready to go back. When you're a kid, you're so obsessed with like the age that you become a big kid. This is a lot of makeup. I really like it on you. I really don't like this much makeup. <sighs> My dad was just like, me and your mom are getting divorced. It's like casual as possible. I don't want to age. I think that's the scariest thing in the entire world. It was an amazing experience making the film. I mean, when we started out, we really didn't know what we were planning to do with the, the footage. I mean, we really, it was really just a question I had, like, what's, what's it like to be a teenage girl in New York right now? Um, and I really wanted to uh, follow a, a circle of friends that were really friends, not just picking from all different areas. It took a long time for it to even occur to me that I could like girls. I'm an adult. You're not an adult, you're a young adult. I was surprised at how similar it was from when I was growing up, you know, many, many moons ago. Um, there, you know, there's obviously much more social media and all that, but there's still, you know, the girls still communicate with each other, tight bonds, um, great friendships, and, you know, some drama. Ginger is not going to college. 14 days you've been busy in the last six months. I'm not willing to invest money in your make-believe life. It just sort of sometimes feels like the ending of the story. Directing this film was like, you know, basically telling the girls to stop, slow down. You know, they were just always racing through the city and, you know, talking a mile a minute. And um, it was great. It was wonderful. Dad's calling ACS on you? For what? No, I have to tell you that I was concerned about your dad's mental health when you expect something to be perfect and it's not. I hate hearing all the time for you become more interesting. You only want greatness if it's the delivered. You have not done a damn thing to make it happen. They love the film. I think they feel um, well represented and um, I think it's, I think they, I think they thought it might be a little cringeworthy to have these period, these years captured on film, but they actually, I think, are really cherished that they have a doc, an actual document of, of who they were when they were growing up. Because I can't wait until you figure out that you're not as smart as you think. Do you have anybody that you genuinely like? Don't you have like a sexual need? You want your friends to be happy because they're going on adventures, but at the same time, I think I'm going places too. Always been interested in women on the, girls on the brink of womanhood, and um, uh, and I've, I've explored it a lot in photography, but hadn't explored it in film, and so this felt like a really kind of great new approach to the, to the body of work. This is like my launch point. Do you think if you did like go back and start over, knowing everything you know now, would you?